G'day guys, it's Billy here from lostreasure.com.au Well, as you can see, uh, my little garage here is a bit of a mess This is what you call six months of um, scrap collecting every day basically Going out local rubbish dumps and so forth looking for scrap metal uh, A lot of it's also for my mate's place Braden's Just give me permission um, So anyway, I'll just quickly show you all the or some other scrap I've collected over the last six months as you can see just here some beautiful nice thick copper wire I've got shit loads of this stuff um, just over there there's a nice old copper tank that'd be worth probably around 50 bucks maybe more heaps of uh, aluminum in here uh, brass copper and so forth all um, aluminum um, sheets and so forth just in these two big bins over here, that's full of uh, more scrap, uh, copper, brass, aluminum, stainless steel, and so forth. Heaps more stuff just down here. A lot of um, guys who do scrap collecting, um, you know, go for everything and anything, but I basically only stick to aluminum, brass, copper, um, stainless steel. So what I do guys is um, I take it all home and then over a period of about a few weeks I'll take it all apart so I'll cash it all in. So for example guys as you can see um, just over here this is a stainless steel dishwasher a lot of guys in the US would just um, take this dishwasher um, as is to the scrap yard but what I do I take everything apart um, so I can get the, the most money I can um, More the scrap steel, the crappy steel like this And all that I just take off and take it back out the local rubbish dump um, Because I have not got enough room uh, to carry all that kind of excess stuff in the back of my trailer And I've got to do a 600 kilometer return trip So as I say I take everything apart and I only take the good stuff up to um, the city to cash in I've got um, heaps of um, copper wire, what I've got a strip, like for example just here, I've got, I don't know, I reckon I'd have probably about three or four hundred kilos of stuff like this, uh, full of bags, it's all bagged up, so when I get the time, um, I'm going to have to strip it properly. My mate in Bunbury is going to make me a uh, stripping machine, um, so I can strip all this stuff properly. And this stuff here is really nice thick copper wire, worth a fair bit of money. All different shapes and sizes, the copper wire, got the thin stuff up to the really, really thick stuff. Also got heaps of circuit boards, I'm actually saving up the old circuit boards. Um, I take them apart, take all the aluminum off them, any copper, and all the leftover circuit boards. I'm just going to save for one day to learn how to um, refine the circuit boards to get the gold and silver and so forth so as you can see just here guys I've got um, a lot of stainless steel uh, dishwashers um, that's an old, old clothes dryer I think it is so as you can see guys that big um, long rectangle shaped piece of uh, aluminum that's off an old solar panel so I've actually got two of those, so that's an excellent formula I found at the local rubbish dump not too long ago. Probably got about three or four radiators at the moment. Haven't had much luck finding any radiators at the local dump lately, but even so, it's made out of brass that is, and that's copper. So beautiful uh, find, and worth a lot of money. And like I say, I'll take all this apart, get rid of the crappy metal, and just sell it as is without the um, shit metal uh, I've got a few um, video recorders, DVD plays and so forth I've got to take apart to get the circuit boards out, aluminum and so forth microwave ovens, got plenty of those um, got about three or four nice sinks, stainless steel so they're good finds uh, aluminum sheeting, got quite a bit of that um, nice ladder what I found at the local rubbish dump the other day someone's trying out it's just bent up the end so I'm actually going to keep that ladder and get it straightened out if I can't straighten it out I'll just cut off that bent part there and 
keep it as is. So as I mentioned before guys, uh, these two bins here is absolutely chock-a-block full of brass, stainless steel, copper, uh, aluminum, all the good metals of scrap. I've got heaps of bags, as you can see these bags here, they're actually just full of copper wire. Uh, here's a nice example there, you can see a bag there, really thick power line copper wire. Um, so I've got to strip that back and just that bag there would weigh about 30 kilos and I reckon I've got about probably 30 bags like that full of copper wire what I need to strip. Got some nice copper piping here too. I've got quite a bit of copper pipe. Um, so this is off an old uh, air conditioner. So Here's an air conditioner just there, what I've got to strip, take the um, aluminum uh, radiator out and I'll cut off the uh, copper ends just there with my angle grinder. And just in the back of my trailer over there there's another air conditioner what I grabbed at the local rubbish dump yesterday. Just here, I've got about three um, cast aluminum lawnmowers, what I've got to um, take apart. So just those aluminum shells, they'd weigh about probably, I don't know, 10 kilos, 5 to 10 kilos. I think uh, cast aluminum is about between a dollar and a dollar fifty a kilo. This here was a beautiful find out the local rubbish dump. Someone threw out this huge big sheet of um, cast aluminum. It's from uh, off the back of a, a ute, or as you guys might call in the US, a SUV uh, or a truck. So that's a nice piece just there. And just this here guys, someone actually gave me this uh, a couple of months ago. It's all cast aluminum. Um, but I'm not gonna um, but I'm not going to uh, cash this in. I'm gonna sell this on eBay. I'll probably get quite a lot of money for this. Um, these are really nice decorative pieces what go around the outside of old houses or um, you can make them into a nice fence. I'll show you exactly what I mean by posting a video um, after this clip. Just in here guys, I've got absolutely heaps of old motors, um, off microwaves, fridges, dishwashers, I've uh, got about buddy, probably 30 or 40 of the old TV uh, copper coils. So, heaps of nice uh, copper motors, as I just said before. Quite a few fridge compressors, what I've got to um, take apart. Yeah. Roughly six months of collecting scrap, almost on a daily basis, out local rubbish dumps. Um, off a few of my farmer mates. And just finding you know scrap on the side of the road and so forth out even out the bush old rubbish dumps out the bush um, So yeah, it's gonna take me I reckon Probably between two weeks and probably four weeks to um, take all this apart properly. So I get the um, most money I can So I'm not really looking forward to it But it will be good to clean up my buddy um, this mess here because it's really really bad at the moment so now guys, I really really appreciate you watching my video and um, my plans are for this stuff is probably to take up um, the scrap to the city in individual lots. So for example, I'll probably take the aluminum um, and cast aluminum in one lot and then I might do uh, stainless steel in another lot and brass and copper in the next trip. So. As I say guys, if you are battling like I have been over the last couple of years and you want to make a bit of uh, extra money. scrap collecting and you'll uh, earn some really, really good money. I think last year I made about $10,000 just from uh, collecting scrap.